Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I thought I'd just throw that in there since this is my first video of 2017. Yeah, it's about a change in this in this house. Uh, I'm about to change everything in this room. Um, this room, I've had this room like this for the past year and a half, two years. So I thought the interior design in me is crying out. Let's do something. Let's uh, do something. 2017 is looking much more colorful. Um, the gray is going. The black and white is going. A lot of things are changing. So I hope you also subscribe because I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be doing. All the DIY little tips that I have for the new room that I'm creating and I'll show you exactly what I've done to this one like this headboard for instance I made that headboard myself it's changing so I'll show you exactly what I did it's very very simple it's very very cheap as well so to subscribe so I can show you exactly what I did to this headboard and what I'm gonna do after basically so I hope you enjoy this room tour everything cost me 250 pounds very very cheap you don't have to spend a lot of money to create a comfortable happy look for your bedroom really that's what I'm all about I'm all about creating rooms for less money you don't have to spend a lot of money not everybody can afford a thousand pound bed but you can make your bed look more like a thousand pound bed if you just tweak things about so I'll show you all of that in my next video hopefully I will change that headboard and make it look a bit different um, so yeah I hope you enjoy this 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 room did not cost me more than 250 pounds to create it cost me less than 250 everything the furniture in here everything cost me less anyways let me not chat too much and I'll show you exactly what I've done to this room and I hope you enjoy it please subscribe for more videos as well see you later I will start off with this cupboard right outside my room this is where I keep all my shoes right in here so all my shoes sort of like stay there all organized and stuff all the shoes I wear currently at the moment are all in this cupboard and now this is my bedroom I will start with that wall over there with the hats that wall was just looking a little bit bare and I didn't want it to just have more pictures because I have enough pictures in this bedroom so I kind of took all my vintage hats to keep them safe I kind of hang them on that wall and then I have to crumble in the cupboards the big black hat is from H&M on the wall I have the gray wall um, that paint I got it from range range does amazing paints um, that paint was actually one pound for a tin that can actually paint all the walls in here um, so that was a really really good bargain my next paint is actually coming from them and I think I got I saw it for $6.99 or something like that the pictures on the wall are all from Ikea I love those pictures um, they, they just kind of work I've just changed them recently I think about two weeks ago I changed them to the big black ones I had tiny little ones that sort of like created like a like a picture frame but with all these tiny pictures um, moving on to the headboard the headboard I actually covered myself it's very simple to do it's very cheap I got the material from Ikea and I just came and recovered it reattached it to my bed and I really really like the look of that the pillowcases are all from H&M H&M does great range in pillowcases I think they start from like 350 to about eight pounds so it's very very inexpensive um, the bed itself, I got it from an auction and I got it for £100, which was really, really, really cheap. Also, one other thing that I have in my room that I'm about to change, as you can see from this side here, I'm trying out colours to see what colour I should paint it. It's been sort of like the same colour as my wooden floors, but it has to go because the colour scheme is changing in here. It kind of moves up and down. Like if I want to have breakfast in bed and stuff, this is what I use or for my computer and stuff or doing stuff in bed anyways, writing up stuff and it's really, really cool. It moves up and down. Ikea actually sells those um, for about £90 and I got this one for £5 from a secondhand store. I'm a sucker for bargains basically. I just go places and just get stuff um, for cheaper anyways. So this, this is really, really cool. I'm keeping that definitely because it's so good when you're having breakfast in bed and when you're reading in bed or you want to write stuff in bed it's really really cool so I'm definitely keeping that so the duvet is from Asda and I really 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 like this duvet 
I basically bumped into it when I went to do my food shopping and I really like it it's one of those duvets that as soon as I wash it it goes back on it's really nice because most of my bedding that I have actually is from TK Maxx or H&M but I thought I'll just try the supermarket uh, bedding and I was really really surprised it's really really good I really like it actually um, please forgive my voice I had a cold and now I'm recovering from it so I sounded really really, really funny but anyways back to the stuff the duvet is really good it's from us supermarkets right next to my bed is a really cheap ikea bedside table and above that i have a lanterns um i prefer having lanterns because they don't have cables running through under my table i already have like cables from my electric blanket from under my bed and i didn't want to have more cables coming out because at night i've got chargers and stuff like that so having a lantern was really really pretty and i love candles and when that is lit at night i swear to you it's really really gorgeous and i just i just prefer having a candle there it's really really nice and i really really like that i might actually have a bedside a lamp next time in my next design i'm not quite sure yet but at the moment i prefer the lanterns they on to this chair by my window that chair is actually designed by an architect who now designs furniture he's only made about 10 of these apparently and i absolutely love this chair it's really really cool the people that sold it to me did not even know who's the ch who the chair was by and they sold it to me for 40 pounds so yes that was definitely a bargain a bargain i'll never get rid of it's the structure of the chair is just so pretty and i love it it's like a he's and hairs chair love it love it love it i'm also repainting this lampshade that i got from a vintage store it was actually all vintage this was the material that was left from doing up the headboard but i am taking it apart because i'm about to do it up again because obviously this room is changing so the black and white is going so that's almost changing this area here is where all the makeup magic happens and where i take all my selfies and stuff hey so um i got this chair off ebay i actually use this chairs in my dining room as well i've had i've loved this chairs for the past five years yeah for the past five years basically so i thought i just wanted to have one type of chair in the whole house so i got one for my bedroom as well and i got this little table from a charity shop again it was actually wood originally the same color as the wood on my floor but i didn't want that i wanted it to be white to match the chair so i repainted it it's actually meant to be a computer desk but i'm using it as a makeup desk basically so i have all my because it doesn't have drawers and stuff i have all my makeup and stuff on top of it which is all good i don't mind having all the makeup on top and stuff so i have all my shadows here all my nail polishes all the makeup that i actually use on a daily basis basis in there my brushes and stuff it's just little bits and bobs my lipstick box and stuff like that i don't really have a lot of makeup i'm not a makeup guru or anything like that but this is this is the best um i'm actually wearing a vintage dress today i like it and this jacket here this jacket actually normally hangs on this wall here because it goes with the style i'll just show you my bedroom my uh, wardrobe actually my bedroom <laughs> my wardrobe my wardrobe space is a little bit of a mess because there's a lot of things in here but i try to keep it as tidy as i can so all my clothes that i folded that go over there i'm still to buy a chest of drawers because i don't have a lot of space i've just put it there and i've just hung stuff this is all my jackets all my skirts all my dresses and all the stuff that's not dressy like and my bath some of my bags are over there so this stays closed because it's a mess it's the right mess in there we don't want to go in there but coming back to my desk the clutch that i use every day is over there and the one that i use quite a, the ones i use a lot at the moment are the, those two and i absolutely love them thank you thelma for my lovely clutch i love it anyways so that's basically my room guys um that's all of it thank you guys for joining me on my room tour i hope you enjoyed it it's about all change in here i'm about to get some work and change this lampshade right now this is what i'm going to do today and i'm going to try and paint the trolley thing on my bed trolley thing whatever it's called anyways thanks for watching guys see you again in the next video please subscribe